Hello, church. This week, our prayer focus is on thankfulness or gratitude. And you know, if you look through the fruit of the Spirit or the gifts of the Spirit, you do not find thankfulness there. It's not a gift. It's not one of the fruit of the Spirit. It's a command. The Lord tells us in Colossians 3.15, Be ye thankful. And as Brother Bob shared yesterday, 1 Thessalonians 5.18 says, In everything give thanks. So thankfulness is a command of the Lord, and it demands of us, commands of us to uh, have thankfulness. I'd like to share with you three quick thoughts on growing in gratefulness and how we can grow and progress. If we're commanded to be grateful and thankful, then let's learn how we can grow and be more thankful and more grateful. Uh, number one, in Deuteronomy 8.10, Moses told the children of Israel, he says, you're going into the promised land. You're going to go in and eat, live in houses that you haven't built. You're going to eat food that you didn't toil over to grow. And when you've done that, when you've eaten and are full, then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he has given you. Moses said, be thankful and say the blessing. Now, when our children were young, or if you have young children now, we teach them to say the blessing, right? When we sit down to a meal, we thank the Lord for what we have, for the good food which we're partaking of. We thank him for the day. We thank him for our health. We thank the Lord for things. And that is an elementary part of Thanksgiving, but it's a great place to start. And when we say, Lord, I thank you for the whatever it is, we're thanking the Lord for what we can see. But now let's take another step forward. In Psalm 23, 4, David said, Yea, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you're with me. This is kind of the even though prayer of thankfulness. David said, even though I can't see how this is really a good deal or how it's going to come out, I'm still going to praise the Lord. I'm going to be thankful. And so when we, when we pray even though thankful prayers, we're thanking the Lord for things that we can't necessarily see. But even though we can't see him, we know that he is good. He has our welfare in mind. He has a plan and we can be thankful uh, for those things, even though we can't see all that he's doing and how it's going to work out. There's one more uh, degree of gratefulness, and we see that in Philippians 1, 17 and 18. Paul is talking to the Philippians, and he says, you know, I've been in chains here, and there's been a bunch of people that have come. Some have gotten more bold because of my chains and are preaching the gospel. Others have preach the gospel out of contention, saying, well, Paul's in prison, so I'm going to preach. And he says, it doesn't matter how it's being preached. The blessing is that the gospel is going forth. In Philippians 1, 17 and 18, he says, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel, what then? Notwithstanding every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached, and I therein do rejoice, yea, and will rejoice. This is Paul being grateful, not for the situation he's in, not just even though he's in the situation, but even because of this situation. The first one, when we pray for the, we're talking about we're thankful for God's provision. When we pray even though, we're grateful for his presence. And when we get to the point where we pray and are thankful because of, that's God's purpose. That's God's purpose. So I pray today that as we join our hearts in thanksgiving to the Lord for all that he's done for us, even though we can't see all that he is doing, but even because of what's going on right now, we can be thankful because we understand and know and, and accept and believe and love God's purpose, God's eternal purpose that he's working out through us. Be blessed today as you pray prayers of thanksgiving to the Lord.